सो गाइस वी आर डिस्कसिंग अ लास्ट टाइम अबाउट अ वेट फॉर एलिमेंट सो नाउ इन दिस वीडियो वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट अदर कमांड व्हिच आर मीनिंग सो इट्स अ वाइल्ड कमांड इट्स अ नॉट अ कमांड लाइक एन एनी अदर कमांड परफॉर्म एनी इवेंट इट्स अ जस्ट अ लूप कमांड सो इन अ लूप कमांड यू विल जस्ट गिव हियर अ वेरिएबल एंड हियर यू विल डिफाइन अ वेरिएबल and here you will give also a and command for this and loop and uh, here you will give specific uh, uh, command which you want to uh, use again and again and run it uh, now so i quickly prepare a code for uh, you you can see here it's a define a variable and here is a loop condition while it's a uh, less than a 10 uh, in this code this and this statement is run again and again while it's a uh, less than 10 and here it suggest increasing command it it will be variable uh, increase by 1 so we can see here and uh, i will run it and uh, it will run for 10 time so it was a, a while command for loop and you can use it for loop just and uh, here is a next so our next command is x click x click is an, uh, just uh, uh, you can uh, give here uh, any coordinate or uh, image for click here it will uh, use your real time your mouse um, in a case of uh, just a simple click uh, it's a event of a click by done by javascript but in case of x click it will use a real time mouse uh, i will shows and you will see uh, my mouse movement will go on a element so i will select any element like here i want to click so you can also see a red circle it will click here so i will run this command and you will see that it will click on this specific position as you can see it's a run so in some time a simple click is not working but uh, we can choose the x click for this problem so x click and x click relative x click relative is a uh, same as a x click but uh, in a case of x click we will define a, a relative position not a actual position but a relative position uh, like uh, i want to uh, like i will just define here a position firstly as you know uh, all time uh, here is a same element but uh, i want to click here but uh, this page is uh, change again and again so in this case i will choose a relative so it's a first is a target firstly target element will be a will be a element where you want, uh, want to with respect of this element uh, so here is a area where you want to click so i will save it and uh, run it as you will see that it click on this but if i change a uh, like a different one as you can see that now i want to just a click now it will click on a same position you can see that it's a click so next is you can also give here a, a, in a x click a, x click text x click text is a, a same as a but a, same but a, in this case you will give here a text for click like uh, you will give here like uh, this command ocr you will give just uh, write a ocr and then you will uh, write here a text like i want to click on images and uh, if you want to define here a position you can define here by default it's a choose a one so i will run this command if you want to choose a position just uh, give here a position and uh, place here one and uh, i will run this command we will see here it will click on images you can see that it's click on images now we will define a uh, as click text relative uh, now this time it's not working but i will show you what is a you know, what is working and how it's work like uh, text relative such as uh, i want to click on images uh, images but uh, in case of, uh, i want to go on a uh, right a uh, right on this um on this text uh, in the right dimension i will move a one character and uh, i will go on a in in x uh, in x axis i i want to move on uh, in x axis i want to move a uh, five character and uh, in a y um, in a y axis i want to go zero character 
but uh, in this case it's not working i will show you it's a same command but x move text relative and i will show you now we'll run this command as we can see that it's a move and a move or right track uh, right from this position and uh, as you can see that it's a move as you expect so next is a uh, x with text relative our next command is x desktop automation it's a not a not a command for any events uh, perform uh, with which perform any events uh, just uh, it can uh, it's just move to switch from um, browser automation to desktop automation so in this case uh, we, we can also configure in a setting of ui vision but uh, sometime uh, uh, for a specific time we will need to move in a desktop automation so use this command to move uh, x desktop automation just to give here a true i will also de define a desktop automation so i will choose it so here it's a uh, next is x mouse wheel uh, x mouse wheel is uh, just to use for x mouse wheel scroll scroll down or scroll up like i want to scroll down so i will give here a sc uh, scroll down for command and i will run it as you can it's uh, not affected but uh, if i if i give here before just x move and you can also give a x click and x move a here a coordinate so i will give here a coordinate 2020 so after of it i will play this macro and it will go and now you can see it's a scroll down next is x move a relative x move a relative actually it's the same as a x click but in this case of x move it's a and as you can see that uh, our page uh, element uh, are not a static element it's a change again and again so i will choose uh, any element uh, which is a static which is a static uh, and uh, and and i will choose a element with respect to this element which you will choose as a static element it's a uh, now as a static element in this condition and here i will give a pink box for relative this position so i will save this and close now it will click every time on a first position uh, here as a respect to the uh, this element so i will play this macro you will see here uh, it, it's move on this position as you can see that it's move on this position it will um, move as a relative to this position so next is, is x move text x move text is, is a just a uh, same as a x click text uh, in this case you will give here ocr text like here gh and uh, you can also give here a position of element like a x but in this case uh, it will uh, already choose a uh, by default of one so i will uh, i will run this command and it will move on this uh, text so we will see here you can see here it's a move now we run this command you will see here where it's move if you will see my move you can see here it's a move on this on this element so use for text so next is our command is a uh, x move text relative x moves text relative um, as we select just the same text but uh, in a relative so for relative i will give here r1 is a first uh, one character from x axis and uh, one character from y axis and then it will move uh, and then i will run it and you will see here a uh, x move relative you can see uh, my mo uh, my you can see now you can see position of my mouse so it's uh, as expected so now we'll move on uh, x run x run actually used to command uh, run a command on a shell if you want to run uh, any external command like uh, which you want to uh, run on a uh, shell like uh, if you want to start a calculator by ui vision just it will uh, you will give here a x run command and which with its parameter parameter calculator so in this case it will run uh, run your calculator you will see here it's a run a calculator and uh, here you will give a x run weight it's the same as a x click but it's a weight for uh, a pair uh, an element so you can see that it's run and uh, next is uh, x type 
X type uh, actually it's uh, not used as a loan uh, but you can use it uh, by X click with with the combination of X click here you will just uh, give uh, X click because it's a uh, use a real time your uh, keyboard uh, to press your keys in a specific element so firstly uh, I will target uh, any element or a coordinate you can also give here a coordinate but in my case I will give here uh, image so it's our image so next i want to firstly click here and after of it i want to type here here a text like a good question question and after of it i want to enter a special key so i will give here a curly braces key enter and now i will run this command and you will see here uh, how it's a result so you will see here you can see it's run perfectly uh, i i expect you you are understand all of this command and if you have any question about this or any other command of ui vision you can comment below this video